Hi, I'm. Hi, I'm. Hi, I'm. Hi, I'm Mr. Hi, I'm Mr. O. Here with another. Oh, wow! Moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. We're down at Invention Convention at the Children's Museum at our launch cage, where kids can make rockets, and more importantly for today, paper airplanes. Why? Because today we're gonna study why paper airplanes fly. So why do planes fly? Well, there are four forces that act on your plane. There's thrust, and thrust is the force that keeps a plane moving forward. Typically it's caused by engines, or in the case of our paper airplane, throwing it. And then there's drag. Drag is the force of friction. In other words, it's air resistance that pushes against the plane as it moves forward. As long as you have more thrust than drag, your plane's gonna keep moving forward. Then there's gravity. Gravity pulls down your plane. This is why your paper airplanes tend to land. And then there is lift. And lift is our most important force when it comes to plane flying because that is what keeps a plane up. And it goes against the force of gravity. As long as you have more lift than gravity, your plane will stay up. In the early 1800s, about 180 years before the Wright brothers' famous first flight at Kitty Hawk, Daniel Bernoulli came up with an equation that describes the relationship between moving fluids and pressure. That equation is the key to lift. Uh, that, no, that is not what I heard. Beg your pardon? I heard that lift is explained by Newton, not Bernoulli. Newton? You know, Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, I know who Newton is, and I understand there's some controversy between whether it was Newton or Bernoulli who first came up with the description for lift, but it doesn't make any sense, because Bernoulli's actually based his equation off of Newton. He idolized the man. So they're both correct. They both correctly explain why lift occurs. This came about it from two different ways. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Now, again, this equation might look a little complicated, but really and truly all it says is that the faster a fluid moves, the lower the pressure. So what does this have to do with lift? Well, the shape of the wing allows air to travel over the top faster than underneath. This means that the pressure on top is lower and the pressure on the bottom is higher. The higher pressure underneath pushes up on the wing, and that is lift. What, you don't believe me that faster fluid equals lower pressure? Well, check this out. Science is fun and you can learn a lot doing science, but it can be messy and sometimes a little dangerous, so always make sure you have a responsible adult working with you. Take a hair dryer and a small balloon. Turn the hair dryer to high and hold it so the air is blowing straight up. Place the balloon into the stream of air. See how it's held there? You can even tilt the dryers a little and the balloon won't fall out of the air stream. Why? Well again, the faster the speed, the lower the pressure. The pressure outside the stream is higher than the air moving inside the stream and pushes the balloon back into the stream of air. Eventually, the force of gravity will overcome the pressure difference if you tilt the hair dryers enough, so the balloon will fall out. Try this. Take a long strip of paper, about an inch wide, and place it just barely on your lower lip. Now blow across the top. See it rise? That's because the faster moving air on top creates lower pressure and the higher pressure underneath pushes up on the paper. So what have we learned today? We learned that there are four forces that act on airplanes. We also learned how Bernoulli's principle explains that moving air over the wings generates different pressures which creates lift. We hope you've enjoyed this high-flying adventure and have been inspired to go out and have an oh wow moment 
of your own. And this is Texas. Sometimes we gotta do our demonstrations a little bit more Texas-sized. <laughs> uh, I know it goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Leaf blowers aren't toys, so make sure you have a responsible adult working with you. Thank you.